Hey guys, Dr. Brady Mandy, developer of the Functional Practice. Uh, quick overview of day two. So recently did a, a, a boot camp, a five-day boot camp, um, showing doctors how to go from basically just idea, going from scratch, going from zero to calls within five days. Um, and I have kind of a backstory behind it. There's a lot of virtual, you know, gurus out there saying, "Well, it's gonna take take three months to set up a virtual thing. You need to get it done in a week." Or faster if you go, if you watch the trainings and modules faster. But uh, remember, day one was all about picking a niche, picking a funnel, getting that funnel built out. And so you can take some of mine, you can take one of mine, or you know all of them if you want to do the funnel advantage program. But I tell doctors, you know, and I talk about this in the last videos. Don't don't focus on where the money is. Focus on where your passion is. What are you good at? Is it thyroid? Is it weight loss? Is it ADHD? Is it neuropathy? Whatever it doesn't matter. Whatever you're good at, that's what you want to fill your office with. If you don't have a passion for a condition, then don't go that way because you're going to be miserable. Like my, and I said this in other videos, but my worst nightmare would be waking up and going to, into an office full of fibromyalgia all day because these people are feeling, most of them feel sorry for themselves and they really don't want the help. Like it's kind of their identity. Nah, you know, I, I, I'd rather help. And for me, it's it's weight loss, it's gut dysfunction, it's ADHD, and it's thyroid. Those are my big four. But you don't have to follow what I do. I'm just, I'm just explaining that day one was all about picking the niche, picking the funnel. We really drilled deep into uh, search volume and Google and, and it, what are what are the size of some niches. Like ADHD, you're at 6.5 million searches per month. Thyroid, you know, a big amount of people suffering from thyroid issues. You get the idea. So day two was all about getting that Facebook pixel installed. It's a, f a few clicks and, and that's where I'm going to lose some of you. You're like, what the? What, what is this pixel thing all about? It's it's a it's a way for you to follow people around. It, it, rule number one of marketing, you guys, is never waste a visitor. If if you want take anything away from this video and this training today, it's the idea of never waste a visitor. They hit your website for a purpose for a reason, and generally it's for Google and YouTube, and we bring people in through search. But I need that pixel so I can follow them around on the back end through retargeting. So day two of the boot camp was all about, hey, let's click here, let's click here, let's click here. Let's take your Facebook Facebook pixel and stick it on your ClickFunnel website. So that when somebody clicks it, and I also show you through you know Facebook ads and the retargeting ads and how to set that up. But if somebody hits your website, the first thing that they're going to see when they pop on over to Facebook, they start scrolling over there, is your follow-up retargeting ad. So that's what day two was, a lengthy training. We went long, but that was day two. So here's the framework, you guys, and I just don't, I don't want to... Uh, confuse you too much, but here's your traffic sources, right? You have Facebook, you have Facebook ads, lives, YouTube, YouTube ads, Google, you, Google ads, searched, you know, Google display, Google videos, Google, well, that's going to be YouTube, but Google display network, influencers, the whole nine yards, Instagram, they hit your funnel website. Now you can be sending people into ADHD or thyroid or weight loss or whatever, but there's a pixel here, right? There's a pixel on this website. And then that there's pixel here too on sales page, but it go, all these people go into a retargeting pool. Facebook's not going to give you all the emails and the names and whoever hits your website. It's just kind of a, a mis mysterious uh, retargeting pool. So that then you're just going to build that over time. You just tell, hey, Facebook, give me a list of people that has has seen my website or has hit my website in the past 30 days, and then on moving forward. And then you just go after and you target that custom. You create it as a custom audience. Then, then you serve your ads towards those people that visited your website. And we do that to break down that KLT factor. So for example, let me just kind of use the, the framework of ADHD. All right, I run an ADHD Google ad. Okay, top spot, there's 6.5 million searches per month on ADHD. They click into my ADHD funnel. Maybe they take action, probably they don't. 97% of the time, they're just gonna leave. They're gonna bounce, that's fine. But because they visited my website, now I can follow them. I have a pixel on the website. Now they're, okay, that's fine, good information. I'm just gonna go, go on about my day. I paid what? A buck a click, maybe a buck 52, but depending, you know, every condition is different. But let's say I paid two bucks a click, two bucks for that visitor or whatever. But now on, on Facebook, now what are they gonna start seeing? They're gonna start seeing my like an ADHD indoctrination sequence. Well, that's part of my email too, my email follow-up indoctrination sequencing. But they're gonna see some ADHD ads. It's me talking about ADHD and gut, ADHD and you know food sensitivities, ADHD and toxins. You get the idea. ADHD and colors here. Hey guys, these are the top five foods you need to avoid if you have a child struggling with ADHD. You get the idea. So you can give them more information, valuable information, 
that can help them solve problems. But maybe they don't, they don't take action today, but maybe 17 days from now, they're really struggling, having a bad day with their kid. I have to do something. Who are they going to think of? Right? For me, I've, I've, I've filled their email inbox with, with ADHD emails. Right? Then there's a way, and I'm not going to get into that. I'll talk about that when we talk about emails. But um, you take them in, you know, for me, I would take them into one of my master classes where I capture their email address and I can send them videos uh, educate, educating them and empowering them over time so that eventually when time is right, I'm the solution to their problem. So, all right, guys, that was day two. Module number two was all about getting that uh, Facebook pixel installed. And then day three is getting your Googles because remember, there's, there's a method to this madness. There has to be a sequ sequential order to this thing. That's why day one was all about funnels. It was all about getting your framework set up, getting that foundation set. It makes no sense to fire up a bunch of traffic Start wasting a bunch of money in ads if there's no place to send people and or if your funnel's broken. Like, does it convert? Traffic and conversions, right? Remember, if you can master traffic and conversions, you can you know, basically print money. But the, these you have to figure this stuff out. Traffic, that's the easy part. You got to get that website converting um, and getting the phone ringing and getting people into your master class. And that's all, that's all copywriting. That's all copy stuff. You know, putting words on paper to get people to, to do things. So... All right, guys, I've talked long enough. I'll let you go. That was day two. Tomorrow, I'm going to go over day three and what day three was all about. But if you want to go through the boot camp, right, all five trainings, all five modules, just go to the functionalpractice.com forward slash boot camp. I'll link it in the description below this video as well. So just scroll below and just click the link, take you straight there. So, all right, guys, have a great day, and I will see you next time.